have board meeting June 19, 2017. We'll start with the approval of minutes. Uh, and I'm adding to the agenda not just the minutes of June 12th, which was last week's regular meeting, but also the minutes of June 15th, which was a meeting that uh, Jody and I held last Thursday, that where we did some uh, non-public work and also opened the <coughs> bids for our drainage project. So given that, well, let's do it separately because we have different uh, participation uh, scenarios. So the June 12th meeting, did anyone have any uh, issues? I did add a substantive change this afternoon describing the bond. So the bond's base value was less, I don't know exactly how it was stated, it was less than, than um, the actual amount that they're giving to us. That's because the buyers have, uh, have Asked for a five percent coupon rate, so I, I yeah, I know. I did a more articulate job on that, which just <coughs> fine. So that was the only substantive change I did on that. I am no one to see. That's, that's all right. Any any uh, discussion on that? Are we good with accepting those minutes by consensus? Okay. And then June fifteenth was Thursday's meeting. That was just Jody. Uh, the only ones in attendance were Jody and, and myself. So Jody, I'm fine with it. Okay, and I'm fine with this as well. So by consensus, uh, both sets of minutes are. Uh, we normally go to community input. Uh, I would like to go immediately to, um, well, let me first check this. This gentleman that walked in, are you here to talk to us about particular? Perfect, okay, good. So uh, we'd like to talk about the drainage project that's going on outside, and we have gang in construction, the Mistress Gang, I don't know, Ryan and Norm, Norm uh, here to uh, talk to us about what they discovered. Would you both like to come up here and, and talk about some of the options and, and what they discovered? And also, I happened to be here this morning when our engineer, project manager, Steve Pike, was out there explaining everything. So, so just give us, just pretend we don't know anything, which is, which is close to true. <laughs> Looking at the foundation, now that we've had it exposed, the base of the foundation, we have large granite rocks. All the smooth, nice, shiny sides are inside that you have to look at, and all the ugly sides are facing out, which makes it very irregular. So there's big gaps, some gaps are 18 inches deep that go into the foundation and come back up with rocks underneath them. Uh, it makes it extremely difficult to stop water from penetrating in. Our engineer said that the, 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 the nature of the foundation as it is is probably quite porous and a reason for some of the yes. water. There's no mortar at all in between there, it's just a no, 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 I think there is just a little bit of surface stuff on the inside. Just on the inside, yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, he asked for a few options uh, <coughs> and made some suggestions for ways to stop the water either temporarily or permanently from going through the foundation uh, in the future. So we broke them down in the options that we forwarded him. Uh, option one was a full concrete wall, which is what this detail shows, uh, where we pour a footing down the bottom, which is basically a, just a concrete pad for a wall to sit on. And then you pour a wall against the existing wall, which will allow the concrete to go into all those voids, seals it all, off and gives us a flat surface to put all of our drainage board and stuff to stop the water from going into the uh, basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a membrane that will go over the wall and it will carry the water down to the base of the wall where there will be a four inch pipe that just like we carry the done water. And yeah, we'll on the back side. It'll carry the water out to the catch basin that we put in. And did you have a, co a cost estimate associated with that? Yeah. I, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's right there in the okay. email, um, right down there. The total cost for that was All right. an additional. That's a lot of money. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and the reason for that is the rock needs to be cleaned. Uh, it needs to be power washed. Everything needs to be cleaned out. Uh, you need to drill into the wall to anchor the new wall to it. So they anchor everything into it. And there are two separate times that you have to bring the concrete in. You have to bring the base in to make the base for the new wall. 
and then you have to come in and form everything for the new wall inside that. So it's it's pretty involved. Yeah. To do that. Yes. And just so everyone knows, the cost of that estimated is thirty-one thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. So and the next um, lower one was building a wooden wall using pressure-treated lumber and plywood with a uh, ten millimeter plastic uh, barrier on the outside of that. There would be a key stone in between the wooden wall and the foundation, which will, you know try to get in the areas as best you can, um, as much as gravity will allow. Mm -hmm. And then we would put our drainage board on the outside of that down to the same drain system as this, or to the other types of building. Yeah. The problem with that scenario is that any water that gets behind there cannot get out into our drainage system. They don't have we sealed it off with our mm -hmm. membranes on the outside. Okay. And the third option. And that option just, I don't know if you said it, that option is estimated to be $22,000. The third option, which is the cheapest option, um, is just to put the plastic, the poly, 10 mil poly, right over the existing foundation the way it sets and then put our drainage board and membrane right over that and back building the foundation. Uh, again, you have those boys behind it so things can settle out over time and move and when they do they will tear the plastic in places where the rocks are. You know, the rocks aren't ground when they're showing us there. Some of them come up the point, some of them are there with the rocks, they're unfinished rocks. So, I don't feel that that's a very good option for the same reason as the other quality and water that gets behind it. It can come out the holes it came in, but more likely it's going to go into the water. All right, and that option is estimated to be 2,500. And the final option um, is not to put a membrane up. Uh, no poly or anything that I have quoted there. Steve had, in the email, had said something a little different, but I didn't include that in that price. So just to backfill the trench that we have with stone and put our piping down below so that any water that gets in um, will go down to the pipe. Uh, there's no poly to trap it against the wall. It will go down. Um, there's also the no there's barrier, barrier. Be up behind which water can get trapped, correct? Right. There's no barrier behind which it can get trapped. But it is right up against the existing foundation. That's yeah. estimated to cost seven thousand five hundred. Stone is very expensive. So, sorry. So, your option four doesn't include the um, doesn't include the poly against the no body. no. If if you wanted to put poly in, it's going to add roughly another thousand dollars. But again, uh, poly does function because of the nature of the operation. And the water will get behind. Yeah, and, stone, right? and the, the difference we're calling for three-quarter stone drains really well. The problem is it's a crushed aggregate, so they're very jagged edges. So you start putting that against poly, packing it, it's going to put a whole bunch of little tiny holes in it. So that would probably defeat the purpose so, initially. So I'd like to talk about the option four, which is a lot of crushed stone. So I. So is the concept there to create uh, an easy pathway so that water is just going to go straight down and probably as much as possible avoid going into the? Yes. That is what we would hope for. Yes. <laughs> it likes to go down. No, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's just, yeah, it's but gravity yeah. would. It makes sense to it would go straight down rather than horizontally through a wall. Yeah. Our pipe is approximately one foot below the grade of the floor inside. So the water will go down to that pipe and, and then get carried away before it can build up high enough yeah. to, to have nowhere else to go except except right. it doesn't. Yeah. It won't stop moisture. There will still be damp, you know, moisture going in because there's no like tar barrier um, keeping that moisture out. So 
whatever decision we make, uh, I guess except for option one, which is probably the, the biggest guarantee. Whatever decision we make, if five years, ten years, twenty years from now somebody says, "Oh, look, look, that's stupid board," that was the wrong mm -hmm. decision. What they would have to do is pretty much what you're doing now, they right? Have to start all. St of them. But just just this side, not the back side, right? The back side should be fine. Yeah, because so, that had yeah. concrete foundation, a nice smooth surface. Yeah. So so they it would be this side that they would have to excavate. Yes. Yeah, it would have to be re-excavated. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts, questions, comments? This is one of those happy meetings, isn't it? Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> Can I? I'm going to ask Caroline, who's been involved in some of this back and forth. I would just ask you to read. Um, Mike and Jody have printouts of Steve Hayes' email, which option, you know, which outlines option five to protect the plastic sheathing with the drainage board, and then back up. Yes. Have you seen that? <laughs> Did you see whatever he wrote? No. Did you see? Uh, he emailed yeah. 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 it. Yeah. So the combination of options that I found is that. Yes. 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 I think they were dealing with. First of all, we have an open <coughs> trench right up there, and we're right in the middle of the project. Secondly, I don't know where we would get close to plus thirty thousand dollars or twenty-two thousand dollars if that matter. So, my, my, my yeah, thoughts. please, please do that. Um, if the basement wants to be usable for an extended period of time, I don't think there's. A question as to what you do. If the basement is not going to be in the long-term plans, then I think the cheaper option is feasible. So I, I don't know what the long-term plans are for the police station down there. The police station, if you don't want to build a police station, I think it's almost no question. So the third conundrum <laughs> is that yeah, we're in the middle of looking at options for at least, but we don't know where that's going or how soon it might resolve itself. So that's the third piece. So I mean, clearly, I think if we had a way to, to, to manufacture $30,000, you know, you know yeah. we, would, we would choose that. But sitting here right now, and, and you know, we haven't done the second quarter report, so to see if we could scrabble together $30,000, I haven't <coughs> looked at that yet. I mean, uh, I guess I'm. I mean, does the board? What is? What is? What do you? What do y'all think? Long term, I would say today. Long term, we don't have a plan to keep the police department in the basement. Uh, today. Today. It doesn't mean whatever plan we come up with in the next year or two is you know, rejected by the voters. I mean, that, that's. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm more comfortable. Uh, if we could, I'd rather go to option one, but it's not, it's we don't have enough to do So I think it's going to have to be a combination of, uh, 
of what Mr. Hay uh, the, is saying. Okay. Which would, can you just stop it back in the, the envelope? Would that be, would add, that would add something to, to the 7,500, right? Yeah, no. No, no. Okay. So we, we could do that one. Yes. Well, we have a little bit of money left in the Warren article itself. Of two, possibly three. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really looked, but we have a little bit of money left in the Warren. So then the rest will come from regular budget. And we still have money in the contingency. So, so we, you know, I, I feel we can do that one. Right, but this one's knowingly, and we would leave our track so that people would know it. I'm not laughing about that, but I'm saying, you know, if well, so are you are you? Things. Yes. I don't want to. I don't. I want to do it right because this is the correct way to do it. Okay. This this is what should have been done in the seventies. When they redid I don't think they or whatever they redid the bill. Yeah, they didn't even excavate, right? Well, you wouldn't know. I so we don't think they did. Actually, the story later. Secondly, you know, they do excellent work. And no doubt, thirty years from now, they're all those characters put it in, and it's their name. So I don't. Two two things. This bill, you're going to put a million dollar building on plastic wrap. <laughs> so I can't see what you're saying. I don't it right. I can't. Where are you gonna find the thirty two thousand dollars? Was that what it was? Thirty two? Thirty one. Well let's assume thirty two. Yeah. So and the three of us want to do it right, but tell me where you're gonna find the money. I will have to find it. Because because it's not like because here it is, we're open. I know. Yeah, I mean so it's not like we have, you know, a couple of months to think about this. So we, so, I mean, I could work that we're doing right now. We put in the, if you want to do your seven thousand dollar job now, or ten thousand dollar job now, then we're going to have them come back next year. No, no, no. And do it no, the right no, way. No, 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 no. It would be. You're okay. still going to have leaking down there. No, and you don't know when. Don't address the issue. Right. That was the whole point of this project. And I understand that I have no idea, honestly, at this moment, where we're going to get $31,000. So. And then, of course, you you would tell us to do the first one. Uh, I, I don't know the long, like I said, I don't know the long-term funding for the building. Um, using the downstairs right now with the moisture issues that we're having. Well. My own feeling is if, if, if you have a building and you're the steward of the building, maybe the current owner or the current steward is, you, know, you take care of it. And that is my, that, that's my bent. Mm -hmm. So I, I understand what Jody's saying. I, I also know the, I also know the budget. But let's put that aside for just a minute. Let me ask you a really, really stupid question. Is uh, concrete the only thing you can use to backfill that? These, these foam things, foam, you know, sh like for insulation. Well, would that be cheaper? Spray foam yeah, will compress over time. No. To the extent of air But uh, I'm not familiar with any foam product that would work on it. It may be something else. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I did for my, I have some of that insulation in my house. They just come and whatever the shape is, go yeah. shh. Well, that's an inside foam. It, it is. It is an inside foam. Well, no, they did some of my foundation too, with it. Yeah. Outside exterior work. As as an insulator, it's not as a barrier. It's to stop. Correct. It's with. Uh, that's features. correct. Yes. I I don't know if it if it will stop water or not. I have to, I don't have to. So it's not something that so it is water. known out there as, as a way to manage this. I've never seen it. Okay. Okay. That doesn't mean it's not done. I had to ask. Yeah. No, I, I actually had that thought earlier. We had the same conversation. Yes. And is I, there anything I else that we could search for? I like... couldn't find anything. Uh, I don't, don't. So so concrete will be compressed or whatever. will fill all of those cracks. and. Yes. Yeah. What they do is they pour it and they have a special tool. It's called a, it's a, a, basically a vibrator and they stick it down in the concrete and it shakes the concrete so that it fills all the voids. And the weight at the top 
will fill up into all the voids and everything. Um, and it does show us why we have water problems, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. I would love to do it right. Well, I can, I, I, I can work on the budget. So what in happened, meantime, got the, in the meantime, it's going to take me at least that, 24 so. hours to figure out we can, we can do it 24 hours. if we have budget to, to do this. And I'm going to need some help from Caroline about where we are right this very moment in time. So that I, you know, and then we'll, we'll have to meet again. meet again. Yeah, well, don't, let's not, mm -hmm. you can, you want us to do something tentatively, and then, um, we can be available to come back to that meeting if you would like us for more input on certain things if you want. We'll keep you posted on that too. Yep. Um, but thank you. I appreciate that. I, you know. <laughs> and he has some input too. Um, yeah. I'm he, sure he, he couldn't will. come. I know he yeah. couldn't come tonight. And again, you know, Steve, uh, I like the way he was thinking. I just I don't like the plastic barrier because it will bring water. You know, it will stop a lot of water, but it will also trap water. He said that when I was talking. I mean, he, but he thinks that the bar that most of the water would be on the correct side of the barrier, right. and so the amount of water behind it would be. He didn't say material. You know, in my mind, I'm saying, well, it's probably material, but does it address what you're saying about, you know, uh, settling and and you know, it, it is true. I mean, in my mind, I said, well, plastic when it's buried. It, you know, it will, you know, it doesn't, it, if it's not exposed, it's not going to deteriorate the way exposed plastic does. However, I didn't think about the settling issues. And mm -hmm. so you look out in the road that people have dug over time, and everything just you know, settles around it. The same thing happens over weight, yeah. just in it, we push that plastic into those voids and cause tears and punctures. I know. <laughs> it's a good thing you're, ta you're taxpayers bill. too. Are you both taxpayers? I know yeah, you are. They are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so we're all in this situation together. You know, as a as a taxpayer, I'd rather put my money to something that is going to last and not have to do it again. You know, I feel like the money spent on the other portion will be wasted if you don't do it right mm -hmm. on the front. All right. That's an unfortunate. All right, so can we meet uh, Wednesday, technically? I could do Wednesday in the afternoon. No? I'm not in the front. Oh, you're not? Are you, you could give us your opinion by email? Call. Yeah, or call in. Or would you be able to call in? It depends on what time you want to do. Do you, do you want to try something for tomorrow? I have a, I have a storm water meeting here tomorrow night at 30. So, so, Wednesday, so Wednesday would be the earliest, is that? What, what time? Oh, it matters what it is. Yeah. What will this fall this rain if we're going to get rain? We have pipes in the ground that will take the water away as it is right now. They're covered in fabric so that the dirt will not go through. Okay. Um, obviously, the sooner the better if you don't want to. Right, exactly. So, six, um, what time on Wednesday might you be able to? I thought you said Thursday. No, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Wednesday. I, can't, I think it's said Tuesday. I'm sorry. That's tomorrow. Okay. I'm, I'm on well, Wednesday. Okay. Can, can you do Wednesday? Minutes? Wednesday I can do after 4. So if we did um, like a 6.30 meeting? Sure. Just tentatively, right? Mm -hmm. Assuming that I can figure some things out and let the board know. I'll push the data out yeah, to you that we can meet. Minutes, can all right, so you wouldn't even be able to call in. For a few minutes, I guess. Okay, all right. So let, let's let's tentatively set Wednesday at 6.30. Invite Steve. And um, tomorrow night, um, Steve and I have them to cover. <laughs> you want to tomorrow night? Could you meet tomorrow night as well? Yes, sir. I would have to do it. Like it, I mean, I have a storm warning at 630. We'd have to do it at 6 or we have to do it at 530. That'd be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. I can do tomorrow at 530. Okay. So, so we've got Tuesday at 530, tentatively, and Wednesday at 630. I will be here, but I will okay. modify. And I'll just, do we have your email? Yes, you do. Okay. So I, I was on the email. Uh, okay. My email's on that. All right. Yeah, I, oh, now I see it, Brian. Yeah. Okay. 
Anything else we should know about? It's Any so how did things go on the back side? Very well, actually. Things the elevations worked out good. Mm -hmm. um, foundation was in very good shape on that side. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, everything looks pretty well. Okay. Good. Tonight we're supposed to have a pretty uh, interesting storm. So how are we uh, poised to survive that? Yeah, with the well, okay. 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 There may be a little bit of water in it for time. It'll go back okay. down. Yeah. Um, most of the pavement hasn't been taken out of here. Yeah, so, okay. so it'll all sheet off. And that's why we stopped. So that's all right. Knew they might be a little hold up. So. One, one plus to doing it this way in the future around the entrance and around the side. This can tie into very easily and make a good seal around everything around the side for future use too. If you know the other side of the building needs to be done around the steps, um, it can be very easily tied into and carried on. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions or comments? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank shirts are in and show the committee what they look like. Absolutely, we would love to see them. And that we still have some available for sale. You're going to have to sell them for $30 a piece. No, I'm kidding. Mm, so it's very cute. Thank you. <laughs> so I know some of the board members have pre-ordered them. Yes. Uh -huh. There we go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Obviously, I have a friend. Someone needs to order one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all right. Three, I'm fine. <laughs> Not having that layer of responsibility right at this point in my life. So I commend both of you, and we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Any other community input? Would this be the time? Oh, Richard, yes. Uh, well, unless we think uh, Chief Ducharme is going to be here. Well, so come on, don't you come, come on and sure. yeah, sorry, I didn't I'm going to just gonna throw it out there, and uh, we talked about it, so, but I don't have the details. I have enough details to, to, to at least to uh, bring this to the board. Um, as you all know, that over the past few years, there's always been a leakage problem. Typically, it's been in the conference room downstairs in the police department. Related to the air conditioning? Related to the air conditioning unit. Yeah. Okay. Um, this year, it manifested itself to another one, and it just kind of blew the ceiling right out because of so much water. It just kind of dropped right down. That could have been, could have been hurt somebody at one point if anybody had been in there. Now, the recommendation from the chief, as we spoke about it, was that he spoke to Townsend, I think, uh, and he said that uh, he would be interested in getting a yearly contract to eliminate, to have somebody come in here on a yearly basis, change the filters, check out, see if there's any algae buildup and that kind of thing. And he said it was $130 per unit or five units. And that would be a yearly contract and, and I certainly concur with that. I so, thought about doing it myself and I said, I don't think I'm an HVAC guy, I'd rather have somebody do it. So, Okay. So Richard, with regard to these five units, yes. is, are, have we been maintaining them? Has anybody been maintaining them? We have not. No, okay, no, so they not. Uh, it, no, there, there's, there's, and roughly how old are they? <laughs> Just for, yeah. I think they were done old, 15, 20 years, something like that. They're not They're not new. Is, uh, is maintenance, will that fix the current leakage problem, or is there something else? That will fix, that will fix the it problem. It will. I, I had thought that there was going to be more of an issue than just an algae buildup. But the fellow showed me twice it's an algae buildup. It's not, um, he said it was a, how do you put it, a um, design problem. And my question to him was, why can't we drain these outside? and let them drain, as opposed to just letting them build up. They get into a little pan, the pan gets full, and then it overflows. Where does this stand? It, it's underneath the unit itself. It's kind of like a catch, catch up. But it's only meant for um, condensation more than anything. It's not meant for a catching real up a real leak. You know, what happens is it, it freezes. 
and then when it thaws, you get all this water. And if it happens a lot in the summertime, it will because you get cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. But in the wintertime, you don't have that difficulty because the things will freeze. Only in the summertime do we have this problem. But it's every summer. I'm replacing tiles on ceiling tiles every yeah. summer. Okay. So for $650, my vote is um, to, we can at least we can look at another contractor if you want to, put towns in. Uh, quoted, I don't want to say this definitively, but, but told the chief, $130 a piece for one, one year to maintain all five of them. And Townsend maintains all of our other systems. They do. Yes. Yeah. And this isn't of a magnitude that would require us to talk with public bid. I mean, it's the boards. boards. It's like $650 yeah. per year. And, 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 and I didn't know, again, there's been discussion on how long we stay here. You know, are we going to be here? I, I'm seeing it's not going to happen within the next two or three years. There's going to be a lot of planning before anything ever changes with this building. Right. So I would That's go with correct. A, <laughs> so I would go with a yearly contract and just let it play out like that. Renew it yearly. Don't don't go for a two or three or four year. Just do it as a yearly contract. And, um, um, to, is the board? What does the board think? And do you want to wait until we get some of these other numbers? I, you know, I'll just ask. What do you think? That city does it anyway. So do we have a maintenance budget? Yes. Anyway. Yes. So we're Yeah, it fits in there. Yeah. I mean this isn't paying this isn't going to save but isn't going to cause us not to be able to do the thirty one thousand five hundred. It's gonna be a, a lot of other things. So do we we don't have that contract though? We do not. Okay, so I thought the chief said he would be here. He might be here with a contract, at which point the board can then officially consider it. But thank you for mentioning it to us. Yep. And if, if Chief Ducharme doesn't come in tonight with figures, I'll at least work, you know, when I work on, when I start digging into the budget for other things, sure. I'll, uh, sure. I'll run numbers on that, but the, the 650 should be fine. Okay, because I'm going to see him tomorrow anyway, and I'll find out whether or not he actually has an official quote on it. If he doesn't, we'll get one or something. You know? Yeah. So I just think it's a great idea. Okay. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome. Is there anyone else who has any happy news for us? <laughs> Would anybody like to up the ante on our happy news? <laughs> All right. Then we'll, we'll muddle through that. Uh, department head business. I do see one, one chief. Short and sweet. Okay. I didn't see the bill. You did. I didn't see it. I did have. You have it. You keep it. I just have to be open. All right. I do have a couple of things for you as well. Okay. So you go ahead and start. All I have is I have one purchase order, and it's that infamous Townsend Energy. And basically, what, what, what it was for us was just to have our um, annual service done on the heating plant. Okay. Get it done this early, we need to 20 bucks off, so I was like, all right, we'll do that. So they came in, cleaned the boiler, and took care of some baseboard heat issues, and so it's, uh, it's PO 1140 to Townsend Energy for the annual servicing, and 159.95. Right? Yes. We're doing it at the fire station already. <laughs> Uh, move to accept purchase order 1140 to Townsend Energy annual service for heating system for $159.95. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. I'm looking at my watch because with all of this. Good news. I forgot we were having a demo at 7.30. Oh, I realized I have to sort of keep my eye on the clock. So it's not you. It's That's great. That's fine. All right. That way or over that way? What do you have for me? Okay. So with regard to the Warren article, we really didn't have a carry forward on that, you know, with the radios. So that money is, you know, it's in our, it's not gone, it's in our fund balance, but it's not authorized uh, for use. use so it's gone yeah. for his yes, for your, yes. <laughs> well said, Mike. So, 
So that's where that stands. So, but it's for the new engine, correct? That we're going to want to do this. Yep. The radios for the new fire. Yep. So, uh, you know, depending on when this thing comes in, I mean, if it's possible, it actually comes in at the beginning of 2018. That gives us the chance to put it in that budget. Well, I guess the issue with it is, is the fire truck can't go on service that has a radio in it. So we can have a new fire truck sitting there and it's not going to be able to be used, and that also ties in with the fact we need to demo the other one yeah. to get your grant money. Yeah. So the longer we say, oh, we got to wait, we got to wait, we got to wait, we got to come up with a way to find the money to put the radio on. Basically what we're dealing with. What is the amount again? It was $4,600 for the to do engine one. So it and should is that mimic that for the new fire truck. I think engine one has, it has a repeater inside it so that it can be more powerful to get a signal out. The new one is not going to have a repeater, so I do not anticipate it being any new money. I'm just anticipating the fact that was two years ago, and this annual increment that it increases. Um, hopefully, we can get it in that ballpark. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Because, I mean, that's fire trucks, we can't be using it if we can't talk anymore. Oh, well, I understand. So, so I understand. That's it's hard for us to do. And I guess the only other thing is if we do get to that point and it is the end of the year, we will look typically as favorable, but certain amount of money that comes back from our budget that we're not spending. Yeah. So maybe that money can be redirected towards mm -hmm. those that. I'll uh, have a better idea of some of these things after I go digging. For, I mean, not that there's going to be a lot of things left over based on what I'm doing, but at yeah. least I'll, I'll be able to take a look at the budget and see what, where the heck we are and what options we might have for well, so far we have printing no money. Of, you know, fire truck units, and hopefully that continues. We're almost happy. Yeah, but anything can happen. Oh, yeah, I definitely know that. And, uh, well, we had engine one and got service because the pump was developing. We can only fix that for a minimal amount of money, so that took care of the issue that we're dealing with. But uh, I'm just kind of projecting out, looking at some of the things that we uh, may or may not spend money on. We mm -hmm. yeah. some of that to fulfill that cost. Okay. I don't anticipate a lot more training money coming out of the budget. We're going to ask you about that. Because uh, that's typically one. Uh, some people have already taken their classes. and. I haven't seen a lot that they've been asking for. But I mean, if it comes down to a priority between putting an engine and getting a fire truck on the road and then missing your class for a year, that's pretty easy to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so the other thing that I, I, I wanted to bring up was the demo of the old one. And I haven't looked at the letter of condition recently, but you know, I can email you a, a copy of it again if you'd like. But it, set, it pretty much lays out how much time we have from the time we accept one, I think, to when we demo this other one. Mm -hmm. So we just need to be cognizant of that. I don't remember what it was, but... Yeah, I don't remember the dates. I do remember looking at it. And, yeah, because we looked at all of the conditions. Yeah, because we went over that together. Yeah, and, uh, yeah again, that's the reason why I came in and said, well, that might still available, because I was going to line all this stuff up. So yeah. truck bags in, maybe mm -hmm. the next day. Warrant articles the don't, unless we do something specifically, warrant articles that they've elapsed. They're just, just like... The, the rest of our budget that we don't spend, it lapses. Now, it doesn't disappear, it doesn't go up in a bonfire, it's in the fund balance, but we're not off, we're only authorized to spend what's, what we did at Marchtown meetings, which is our operating budget and that set of warrant articles. We did carry forward, but we had, a, we did that specifically. This board voted to carry forward two purchase orders that were, that we'd done near the end of the year. One was the roof, and I don't remember off the top of my head what the other one was, but I think we'll forget. There were two of them. So they're, you know, they, they required an action on, on the board's part. So so we'll we'll take a peek and, and see what we can do. I will, uh, I'll still contact two ways and let them know where we are the number. So that would be helpful. So we should have a ballpark of what we're looking for. And yeah, and if there's, any, if there's any phased approach, I'm, I'm, there probably isn't, but if there's any phased approach, like, you know, this set is absolutely essential and, and these other radio pieces. Okay. No, it's all, all or nothing. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I have to ask. You know? <laughs> of course you do. It's all or nothing, but okay. I'm not going to put my guys in the fire truck and, well, don't use that radio. Make sure you use this one. All right. You can't talk because you only, you know. So I'll get a number and uh, we can start kicking that around and see what we can do. And okay. Go from there. All right.
right. Yep. Anything else? <laughs> okay. Thank you. So I don't see any other um, parking here, but uh, for the highway, uh, we got an email from um, uh, Gloria Shabbat about a plug catch basin on Heritage, and I forwarded it along to the board and to our road agent, and our road agent went and cleaned it out, so that should be taken care of. Uh, there's, I'm tabling parking on Foundry Street, we didn't get every, all the information back from the legal inquiries that we wanted. And I'm going to table the other one manager because I didn't run those numbers. Okay. Uh, nothing on police unless. Yeah, no, I don't think it's specific for the police. Oh, there's a refrigerator on the South Street in the town right away. It was just left there. Right? A refrigerator on South yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. Has it been there for a while? Yeah, about a week or so. Oh, you mean the one that hasn't got the doors taken off it? Isn't that illegal? I thought so, but I would assume the police drive by at least a dozen times a day. So. Do you want us to bring that to Chief Dushar's attention? I would think. But I, I'm looking at his lines right here. We, uh, how many months have we not had one of the officers? I'm trying to find your money for, uh, yeah. for the new foundation issue. Um, I think he did. He mm -hmm. allocated He may have, but uh, that doesn't mean he gets to do it. Well, no, but I think it was for something like in the building. $20,000. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. remember. We'll have to ask him. I mean, it wasn't necessarily frivolous. I just don't remember what it was. Uh, it was no, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, wasn't, it may already have been put to use, I just don't know. So let, we'll ask him that. Okay. Um, project updates. Um, town hall drainage, I think we've already <coughs> talked about that, unless there's anything else that you would like to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with regard to uh, our culvert project, so we uh, opened the public bids on Thursday, we only had one. Fortunately, it was a decent bid. It was within the engineer's estimates. I have revised that project budget, and everything looks good. I haven't sent it out, I don't think. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, so I'll, at some point I will send it out to you and to USDA. She said she wanted to see it. So it's, it was within the... Um it was within the engineer's estimate. It was within, it was more than the, um, it's more than the construction budget in the original USDA budget. Okay. But all of that came out to within our warrant article, right? So I, we didn't spend anywhere near the amount of money on property rights and easements that we had budgeted. Or, okay. So it, that more than covers the, yep. the, um, the construction bid. Yeah. So the issue is that we were waiting for the final permit from New Hampshire DES for Pine Street. Yeah. It came in today. Yeah. Um, However, uh -huh. I th have I been forwarding you these copies? I read the, uh, the, 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 the permit. So the uh, DES says that we needed an Army Corps of Engineers approval. That could take 30 days. Or waiver. They uh, could just waive it, essentially. Let us know the end of it. Well, it's going to take 30 days. No, no, it's the 30 days that I keep in on. So, so Aaron called, our engineer called, and he was going to be working with Parker and with USDA to see what we could do about, um, you know, see how this would impinge on, on the construction company's schedule and if we could start the two projects for which we have, have everything we need, like uh, Willie and Storm Drain, or what we could do while we were waiting for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So that's kind of a stay tuned. This is not a, a money issue, it's a, but it is a timing issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we had hoped to get Willie Street done in the summer before the school was in session. Yeah. But if not, then We'll have to work with the school to, you know, to, to help to manage that. 
Uh, any any thoughts or comments on that? Pardon? It possibly can, yeah. They possibly can. So Aaron it was chatting. But it's only for it is only time. So they could do the other two. If the USDA gives us the authority to go out to oh. bid. I mean to accept, not to go out to bid, to accept to, to, to do a notice of award. That's the issue. So welcome to the world's governance. Yeah. Pardon? That's why they need to get out. Who needs to get out? This is worse. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, all of a sudden now the core of any other thing's gone? Well, they couldn't tell us this last year? They could come out last year? Yes. Well, see, so. Well, so, Coyle Tanner submitted the permit application with the understanding that it would be a minor or whatever the classification is and it fits that it fits that however DES has changed its way of looking at projects like this and they're adding the size or length of the culvert to the stream bed whatever causing it to be a, a more major so that, I mean, that's that's about all I can say. The other thing that I can say about the culvert project is that um, our short-term financing, which through Kennebunk Savings Bank, we will be having a, another signing party next Monday with closing documents. We'll have to mm -hmm. bring all of that to the. No, nope, you can do it at night, Monday night. I'll be back Tuesday morning to get. Uh, our treasurer's signature and to get the seals put on by the town clerk and then we'll get the one original of the bond document to Kennebunk Savings Bank where they'll come pick it up or something and then we'll scan the rest of the um, documents to our bond council and so it looks like you know we'll be able to manage that. The, the reason that the bond council settled on that date, June 27th, which at first she thought she didn't like turns out that there are window thresholds on both sides. You know, the, the sale of the bond on June 6th and the closing of the bond on June 13th or something, and so she what determined that it was best to aim for June 27th. So that's where that is going. Any questions on that? All right, clear go. So at 7.30, uh, we're going to have a presentation. Uh, Jason, I just saw you walk in. So at 7.30 we're doing a demo, a, a remote demo. Would you like to come, that was going to last about a half an hour. Remote, so remote demo for? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a demonstration on a software. I was just heard I was on the agenda. I was unaware of it. You were on the agenda? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. No. Maybe oh, I was, look at that. not on the agenda. It's a conversation for the board to have. So. Oh. Wouldn't we be invited to that though, Mike? No. All right, so I, I, I didn't see this. I, I'm seeing it now. So what what is this, and can we talk about it now? Sure. If you want. Okay. After the last meeting of the planning board, it's my suggestion that we have a meeting with our legal counsel just to make sure that the planning board and the select board are all on the same page as far as the process goes. All. all right, so this is a request to use legal services. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. Well, I'm fine with that. So that's, that's just the by consensus. Okay. On the oh, okay. So this is so just my my question is: We're supposed to be in front of the planning board July 14th, I believe. Will that interrupt that? As far as legal is concerned, our legal counsel have reached out to yours, and they haven't heard anything. So I don't. Know. Okay. Are you? We yeah. I mean, there wasn't any other. I didn't know if I'm talking out of turn or, or not. No, no, no. We, no, so we have this. Yeah. At 7 30, something is happening. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that this was on the agenda, but. Oh, that's fine. So we've just yeah. taken care of it. So it was a request yeah. to use legal services so that uh, yeah. we could get on the same page with the planning board 
yeah. so that we can address some of your no concerns. Surprises or anything, just to yep. go. Okay. Yep. No problem. No, I just uh, I wanted to be included. That's all. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let me um, maybe set the stage a little bit for, for um, ClearGov and what this is all about. Um, this I found out about this two, two and a half months ago. I saw something. I got something. I don't know what it was. And I called. And I was interested in it, but I said, you know, we can't do anything till after because of all the stuff that was going on then. There's still stuff going on. But they called me in, Ju in June, and lo and behold, she called me in June. So here we are. It's, it's a really uh, neat uh, product that helps with transparency. And I, I know you don't want to hear another money issue, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you anyway and, and, and tell you some of the background. So the 20 some, twenty-three dollars to $26,000 that we get a year from um, Comcast. Comcast is supposed to be earmarked for things like transparency in government, open government, and the mm -hmm. like. Was it ever used for that purpose before I got on the board? No, it wasn't. It was just part of the general fund. So when I got on the board and wanted to do um, things like beef up our our uh, website, provide things like Google Drive that we can make available to people. We, we, we put money from that revenue source into a line, and I said at the time, and we're going to upgrade this every year until we get to the $23,000, well, or 26 or whatever. But, you know, as it turns out, one, if you don't, you, you don't just want to arbitrarily add money if you don't know, if you don't have anything to do with it. Right. So, so the money that we've been putting in there has been sufficient. You know, Google was a really good uh, deal. So, um, but as it turns out, we've got nine thousand dollars this year, and for whatever the fee is, two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, we could have this one-year subscription to this product, and if we really like it then we can figure out if we want to do it next year. So did you get a copy of this? We did. Pardon? You did. All right, so that's the $9,000 in the budget. We've got expended through today, $3,700. So we've got a balance of $5,200. And we have um, projected expenses of $5,400. So if you take away the you know, 9,000 minus 5,400, that's the, that's the money that we have left. So this $2,250 or $2,750 would be um, <coughs> covered by this budget line. I think I know where your $2,750 is going to go to. What do you mean? I don't mean? think it's going to be the open government. I mean, it's going to go to an open hole. Over on the side well, of the mm -hmm. you know, I want us to look at this with an open mind. Mm -hmm. You know, it it it's a really exciting way to provide information on our town to decision makers, us as well as to everybody in the town. And you know, right now when we have to try to put data together to make a point, who is it that does that? It's generally me, and it takes hours to do it. And so I don't know who's going to do it if I'm not around. So this is a way to sort of get some system in place that you know allows us to everybody to in a pretty straightforward way take a look at our data so I just want us to be open-minded about it you may say no because you don't want to spend the money but at least take a look at what it offers right and we'll definitely keep an open mind all right saying the news we had earlier so the clouds a little better uh, yeah I know I'm, I'm I really feel Bummed about that, Work but I, very important. It wasn't my my part; it just how it worked out. But I'm I would like us to, you know, you're going to see it best. I think if you get in front, maybe not, but um, the, the phone's like, ringing. Is the phone ringing? Okay, well that could be she then. Hello. In the meantime, Hello. I think I'm good. Thank you, Rich. First of all, July 10th for um, Judge Ross. Is it 10th or 8th? Whatever that Monday is. <laughs> the Monday is the 10th. The 10th. The I have the 10th at okay. 8 o'clock. Yep, that's it. Great. I'm sorry for that. 
and we're going to be welcome. Bye, Richard. Bye now. Can you, do you know how to make that speaker? Can you pull it off and so no. we can use it as a speakerphone? Last time I did that, they couldn't get it back on the wall. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Can you use my phone? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm not touching that again. Okay. Remember we couldn't close the thing back down to no, take, I don't. take it apart? So okay. I'm not touching it. All right. Can you see? I broke it the last time. I do you want to sit in front? I can see fine here. I can see fine. I can see fine. All right. I'm going to turn my body. I think if you dim the lights, though, everyone will be able to see. Perfect. And I can sleep. Shut up. Now, what I what I thought we would do is use this phone that you just called on as a speaker phone, but I was told by my colleagues that no, 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 you've got to take it off the wall. We'll never be able to put it back. So I am going to ask you to, to call my cell phone and we'll, I'll put that on speaker phone. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, right now would be fine. Thank you. Bye. volume up as far as it goes and I'm going to put you in between the other two board members who are Mike Rollo and Jody Lavoie Carnes. Hi Mike, hi Jody. Hi, how are Hello. you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. All right, so we're ready to just kind of follow your lead.
There's also, there's, it's Suzanne speaking, there's also a spike in the under five year old. Zoomed in. I don't remember what. I'm trying to fix this. Let me just do a refresh and see if that works. Sure.
I'm rejoining. Okay. All right, looks looks fine now. So where that's the line over on the left. Just a minute. So one thing we might do, because we do this occasionally too, is we compare ourselves to the rest of Stratford County, even though we're by size we really don't uh, match with very many of them. But still, it's an interesting uh, comparator, and uh, so we could very readily put together a Stratford County uh, peer group.
value much, much lower. Commercial investment is much, much higher, even though it's close to you. It's a very, very different community. Mm -hmm. It's probably not a good comparison. So, but it does give you an opportunity to answer questions and really look at your numbers uh, in comparison to communities of your choice. Uh, so you'll see throughout the site, whether you're in the revenue category or the expense category, anywhere you see this new analysis feature, you can use that peer group comparison tool to really drill down into the numbers. This shows you how the revenue and expenses have trended over time, and this would be expanded when your current data is put in here. So just to give you a, a view of that, here's another client of ours who has their fiscal 17 budget in there, and they just put their fiscal 18 budget in there. And you can see that there's slightly different, lighter shades of color to differentiate them from prior years. And you can see they're trending in their budget. Uh, so you would be able to do that as well. Then you can actually drill down into every category where you see a few breakdown buttons. You can drill down, for example, okay, here into your revenue. Wait, can you hang on, Audrey? I, I, I uh, lost it again. Okay, sure. Okay, we're back.
for just a minute if I might? Sure. So the, this feature that you just showed us about adding users, you know, those are, yeah. if we want to give particular people some particular kinds of privileges, but yeah. but the full, the, the, the part that you were showing us at first, all of the data and the access and that, those are things that we just plain put on our website exactly. for everybody to, to look at. This is That's just, correct. if we want to give somebody the ability to, I don't know, create a benchmarking set or something. Uh, 
these filters, you can slide them in to bring them closer, or you can put the exact range in right here. And, and, and now what it's doing is the, the sidewalk is searching for all the communities that have a similar number of road miles and a similar area, land area. And then you might want to say, now I just want to look at communities that are within 15 miles. And it came up with two in the entire state. And it said, okay, if you want to compare your public work expense against communities with, with within 15 miles of a similar land area and road miles, we found them. Here they are. There's two of them. And now we'll click next. And now we'll show you what their public work expenditures are in comparison to yours. And this is obviously a big client in Easton. And then it'll show you your peer average and it'll show you the state average. So even though these communities spend less than this, or this community in public work, classifications that mimic the state's chart of accounts because we all do financial the same financial reporting to the Division right. of Revenue Administration. But some of these expense categories, it's not clear to me that the DRA has that level, like um, police department salaries. So how, how would that be drilled downable in our context? Yeah, well, we do get this from the state, so whatever is on the Uh, I think you can get a discount on their 
So in the second no. year, it's 5,500. So, Audrey, I just, uh, it's Suzanne again. I, I just want to make sure that um, we don't um, create bigger expectations that then we'll be able to realize. So, to go back to like the, the expenditures that you were just showing us, uh, all of the all of our data, all every municipality in the state of New Hampshire has our has their data reported to the DRA in certain specified ways. So I can understand readily how we can uh, how we can set up comparators in those categories. It's when you get down to like police salaries because we don't. I'd have to go back and look, but I don't think we report to the DRA police salaries. So we would not be able to. That would not show up then in our drop down because it wouldn't be available. Is that not correct? That's correct. All right. Just want to make sure we fully understand that. So there are. Yeah, okay. Could I ask you a question? Yes, we have another question. Because what I was looking at at that time, um, I was in uh, the, I was in one of our clients in Massachusetts, and this was their, this was their tree. So everything that would be available in the answer, your tree here would be a little bit different. Right, okay. Have you started developing the tree for New Hampshire? It's the tree will be when we do the mapping, and we, We have another question, Audrey. Yes. Uh, Audrey, my name is Judy Nelson. I'm uh, chair of the school board, and so I, I'm interested in education uh, data. Yes. And uh, so, do you also get information? Uh, I know you get information from the DRA in New Hampshire. Do you also get it from the um, uh, State Board of Education and the, uh, the information they uh, collect, like actual teacher salaries, uh, those kinds of things? Let's take a look here. Five minutes or 
so five to ten minutes. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, let me get the code here and show you what the visualization tool looks like. This is where you can look at your, um, you can visualize all of this data. Um, and, for example, in this particular client, if you want to look at your revenue, this is the state of Massachusetts here in Boston. Here's that client that I was showing you. If you want to look at revenue, and you just wanted to look at revenue, for example, in taxes, um, you could say, I just want to see this for, um, Uh, and you could say, um, and then you might want to see it for communities that have a similar population, um, similar size population, and, and maybe similar um, culture and home values. And you see that the scattergram changes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can look at expenditures and say, for example, maybe I just want to look at public work, and I just want to see uh, public work uh, in these that are even closer to me, and this changes, and then you can maybe say, well, I'd rather just see it on a bar chart, see where I compare a bar chart, and maybe I'd like to see it in a bell curve, and you can go into any revenue and expense and debt category, the subcategories are down here, and change your data visualization, and use the parameters to narrow it down, and then you can take screenshots of any of these visualizations and use them in presentations, post them on social media, uh, put them in reports. It's going to save hours and hours and hours of time. And it's going to allow you to do things with the data that you've maybe not been able to do for a lack of resources or a lack of time or even a lack of accessibility to the complexity of the data. It simplifies it all and just gives you the tools to work with it so easily and saves you so much time. Uh, and then you get to also use this feature called widgets which if you decide, for example, that you want to create a widget, widget would be just like an independent little graphic. For example, you might want to create a pie, pie chart for, for this year, and you might want to say, well, I'll just create a uh, pie chart for public work. And you click next, and you say what size you want it to be. We give you, all you do is cut and paste this copy, um, and you can paste it wherever you want for the widget to show up. And if you want to see what this
to help us get up and running in New Hampshire, that we would make it um, much more affordable for you by offering you 50% off the annual fee and leaving the onboarding fee. So your, the offer we give to you is your first year at 2750 all inclusive, and that includes your onboarding. Uh, thank you, Audrey. It's Suzanne again. Uh, does the board have any specific questions? Since it's July, would it go July to July? Or would it go, would we get like an 18 month kind of thing right now? It would go um, for one year. 12 months. So it's always annual yeah. start date, not annual. Okay. Any, any other questions or comments of Audrey? I'm not ready. I just want to say if you did sign the Order and agree to come on board with us. Um, I believe that you, as long as you signed it, um, like after the, if you took a vote and signed it, if you waited on the fee, if you wanted to come on July 1st, that would be acceptable. You mean that would be the start date? Yes, yeah, it could be. It could start it now, but it could start July 1st. Okay. All right. Um, you know, we, we, we had some bad news early this evening, Audrey, of a financial nature. So, so we'll have, the board will have a discussion uh, at some point later on during the meeting. And um, uh, I'll be in touch and uh, let you know. Okay, that sounds great. Well, we hope to have the opportunity to work with you. And I thank you for the opportunity to present this to you this evening. So, and, and I appreciate your time. Thank you. And we appreciate the opportunity to, to look at this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. have a good night. Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. <laughs> yeah. best features that, that I was seeing, and I don't think that information, the information isn't quite that granular when it comes to the DRA, right? So that's why we always have to go well, to the municipal association and places like that to get that. Well, the data at the, well, you could look at, could look at our chart of accounts in the, in the budget report. So the data is, certainly the tax rates mm -hmm. are for all of us, right. and the large categories, general administration, uh, police, fire, those are those are the DRA categories. So all of those, I don't have it in front of me. Those those are those are available today for all of us, and they would be there as soon as we came live because that's the DRA chart of accounts. We follow it. Dover follows it. Right. Everybody follows it. Uh, and as far as you know, uh, the peer group that algorithmically the program determined for us. I mean, if we don't like them because you looked at them and you thought yeah. one of them was tourists yeah. or something. Tomorrow. Can, all the all those towns in the Lakes region you can't compare us to. Then you can we could create our own. Right. 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 So that would be the default. It would still be that would remain as the default, clear cost default, and it tells you why, how we pick them. No, the it, algorithm. It, yeah, no, I understand their algorithm. But there's there's nuance human, of course, sure. right? And right. They don't and they don't get into that purpose. And I, and I respect that too. Yeah, so you can one could create one's own comparator. I mean I yeah. what I did have done for the tax rate is Stratford County. I've done municipalities that are within uh, our population. I've done municipalities that have uh, assessed uh, based on assessed property values. But all of the you know they, they it takes time to assemble and put those together. One could one could do that very same thing in about you know twenty minutes with this with this thing as opposed to ours. So that's the that's that's the reality of it. So did you do you have any comments or questions? It's more like it. It's just could could be you know the the nice thing every that every municipality has to 
in the same budget cycle, at least on the town level. Well, many municipalities are not as spare and tight to the bone as we are. They, um, they manage everything via the cloud, but there were several times that she said that we needed to enter information. So we give them, we, it's, a da, it's an upload, download, upload. Okay, that's all, okay, that's fine. Directly from our accounting okay. system. Okay, all right. Or, yeah. or the workbook that I use, which is actually, a, I think, a better representation. Yeah. Yes. So, so we would, like, right, right this very minute, it, we could give them the, our 2017 budget, and the public could take a look at where, you know, I, you know where it's distributed, all of that sort of stuff. So, in my mind, we need to figure out foundational issues, right? Yes. You're finding the extra money for that. We need to and, do some budget digging. And, uh, yeah. So it was the, uh, just one of those things. The, but can I ask you? Can, can I ask it this way? If we didn't have the foundation, if we didn't have the fire engine radio, and we had this our IT budget, which more than covers it, fun. would have been You would have been predisposed to say yes. All right, that's good enough. I can that's live what with we budget the money for is for our yep. open government. I can live with that. Yeah. Shall I mean, we move on? Either of us are saying no to the concept. The, yeah. Well, one could have, though. One could have, right? Yeah, yeah of course we could have. Right. right. So I, I just wanted to see that it's <laughs> total what? We're not completing total ogres. <laughs> Partial some nights, right? But not, uh, not tonight. Well, we're with you. The ogres isn't the word. Was it uh, Luddites, maybe? Yeah, well, that's always Luddite. Luddites. Luddites. Uh, I'm sure. All right, let, let, now let me get to my, yeah, I've got my own agenda back. All right, a review of legal priorities. I just have not had time. Oh, sorry, yes. Hi. He like unfortunately came in when the lights went off. And <laughs> sorry. We've only been two minutes early. That's okay. That's okay. Good evening. Hi. So you watched the whole presentation? Really? Sounds like you're working first, you're in Okay, the first item um, I have is the conditional offer probation employment for uh, August of 2012. We already signed it. However, what I've done is I retyped it with the current dates to indicate the appointment of cash in August as opposed to May. Uh, okay. The numbers as far as salary remain the same, three-year probation. Uh, the only thing that changes we went from May 15th or whatever, the beginning date, uh, to August 28th. So on page three, he has signed it, and I can sign it, and there's a place for the select board to sign it. All of us or the chair? To share. Just the chair. All right, so can I have a motion then to, uh, Michael, to, to, uh, to accept this? Whatever. say his last name is test. Keep the squad. Keep the squad. Keep the squad. Okay. I will move that we offer our conditional offer of probationary employment the officer B. Esquale to reflect the August 28th start, new August 28th start. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 And I will sign it. Fuel, purchase number one two one seven. Um, for police fuel, six thousand dollars for the next several months. We, we did one purchase at the beginning of the year for six thousand. Caroline told me today that the uh, the limit's almost up, so she like another purchase order signed. So we're using okay. this. This is like a blank, a six month blanket. How do right. we do? Did you? How does this compare to what you have in the budget? Is it there? Oh yeah, there's plenty of money. They'll, they'll still, uh, even with six thousand, it still gives us a question about twenty three hundred in the event that uh, we throw state fuels. Okay. Um, I also put a much. She asked me to put a line item for the fire department as well. Um, they apparently said it didn't happen in the past, and if she's paying one bill, she should be requesting it. I'll be the same. So I've got police fuel six thousand, put fire fuel fifteen hundred uh, for a total of seventy five. So this sort of gets us into the uh, blanket by the back door. I mean, we haven't really approved the idea of blankets. I mean, does the board have any objection to, to, to this? Already got it once, 
Are we okay with this? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure everybody's fine with that. All right. I just want to have, have to have them keep coming back every month for. Uh, Wix, WX. Um, Move to purchase order 1217 to Wix Fuel um, for a total of 7,500. 6,000 of that is for the police, 1,500 is for the uh, Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. You already did six thousand, Chief. No, the first one, the first purchase order was six thousand. We're not yet reached six thousand. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, a uniform for, for Officer D. Pasquale for County Academy. Unfortunately, most of the uh, items we had already purchased for prior officers, so uh, we need to order a couple of things. So, I purchase order number one two one six, made out the Benz uniforms. One short sleeve dress shirt, one long sleeve dress shirt, one pair of dress pants, and one short sleeve traffic shirt uh, for a total of $400. Thank you. Purchase order number 1216 to Ben's uniforms for uh, uh, uniforms for Officer D. Pasquale and an amount of $400. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. to expend the full 8000 So did we budget the revenue? Do you know, do you remember if we budgeted the grant revenue on the revenue side? We did, yes. Okay. All right. So, and you've got the 8, the 8000 full 8000 is in the budget? Yep. Okay. So I have the actual grant here. It just needs the uh, Do we need to accept it? Oh, we do. Um, this signature here for two of the members of the board. And then on the one member page, there's a date and initial for all three. Why only, two, why only two of us? <laughs> because I give you three spots and I have to sign it as well. Oh, so. <laughs> I mean, so, how much of this is, is this all, the entire grant? Yes, the entire grant. 13 pages. Okay. So it's from the Office of Highway Safety. Correct. It's a grant agreement. And they are giving us, okay, here's the financials. So the total budget is $8,380. We're getting four thousand from the feds. We're putting up forty-three eighty. But we have to. We have. We have. We have to spend the, the full. The full eight thousand is in the budget. Correct. Okay. Uh, do you have? Do you want to look at this any any more closely? Do you want to? Yes, I would like a motion to accept the um, grant from the Office of Highway Safety for. I move that we accept the grant from the Office of Highway Safety in the amount of uh, Rollinson MDT equipment um, in the amount of $8,380. And move that we appropriate the amount of $8,380 uh, from our budget. From our budget. Second. Any discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 All right. So. We are signing, and we have to initial. We can all initial the. All three of the initial bottom of the page. Yes. All right. So, so we're, this is, this is, do I throw? Uh, okay. 
Well, I guess you're vice chair. Do you mind if I just okay. I don't know. I'm entitled. So. Mobile data terminal. So, subrecipient initials right here. Exactly. What's the exact amount? $8,383. All right, so Michael, why don't you start the process? And you're prepared to do any of the reporting that we have to do associated with this grant? Yes. That's what the government came out to me. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm fully aware of that. I know I'm fully I'm aware of that. <laughs> Yep. You know, we're not used by any department employee or personal business. Okay. So 
the rest of our equipment. We'll lock it down. Time is this one. Thank you. Okay. okay. The water issues that we had last week. Remember, we had a major leak in the condensing unit in the conference room, which, which yes. gave us a big flood. And Richard then, did did tell us a little bit about the Richard Fogarty earlier this evening. So, just just saying. So I'll, I'll try not to repeat too much. Then. Well, no, it would be nice if it's if it's the same thing. That's it. That's better, right? And uh, <laughs> later that day, all of a sudden, uh, the ladies were downstairs. We had a flood coming down here, and we finally traced the condensing unit that's up here, and the ladies were upstairs. And if you've been in there, you probably see all many many tiles are missing. Yes. Yeah. What Townsend has told us is that the system is designed incorrectly, specifically with the drain system. It doesn't drain properly, so it clogs up. When it clogs up, it backs up, it freezes, and that's where we're getting all of these floods. You do one of two things. Um, one, uh, you spend big bucks and have them repipe everything through vent and drain an outside, an outside wall like they should have been doing in the first place. or entering into a service contract with them, have them come in once a year and blow out, physically open open the units up and blow out all the crap in, the, in these lines. Um, it's, they, a, it's a tedious process because the way it's designed is very difficult to get in there and get into the machinery. Otherwise, it would be something that Richard or I could do uh, uh, simply. But unfortunately, the way they design the units with all the piping in the way they didn't take things apart to get into the machines to, to do the service maintenance. So um, I asked them, so well, what would it cost you to come here once a year, blow these things out, make sure that we're not having any issues, we're not having any more floods, uh, you know, take care of the algae built up and all that. So the lady sent over, uh, Stephanie Wright from Townsend, they sent over a proposal of five HVAC units for $159.95 per unit, which is a $30 savings per unit over the current prices. Additionally, if we have a service contract, uh, if anything goes wrong, uh, they will give us a 15 discount on a service call for price and labor. How much? 15%. Okay. See, they also suggested, and I asked them, so well, we're talking about the HVAC, so let's talk about the burner down, downstairs. So we had you guys come to work anyway. And they said, well, if we, if we agree to get uh, on, on the contract, they will do the burner once a year on $149.95 for, annual, for the burner, an annual tune-up, $149.95, which is also a $30 savings over calling them up and saying, come on down, it's time to do that. Um, and additionally, if something goes wrong any time during the year, we get a 15% discount on labor and parts for the furnace. So we're looking at a total price of $939.70. And I would entertain that if the town decided to do that, that, uh, that we probably should do that in the long run, is that, that we should be part of the town hall maintenance, uh, yearly maintenance. Those right in there. Yeah. Do they think, you know, we're not HVAC folk here. I mean, do they think that blowing out the pipes once a year is sufficient to, to help with this issue? It will certainly help with the issue. It may not totally eliminate it, but um, you know we're not going to get the, uh, the multi waterfalls. Waterfalls that we're getting. Right now. Do you uh, do you have that? I have right here. Can you read it? I also did it. First one. I just like one average. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you just said. Except for you left out the part that it was designed for. Yeah. Oh, I think we did no, say that. Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when... He also picked out 130. Or 100 yeah, he, but he said he wasn't... No, no. he, he oh, didn't he have that. Yeah. 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 So, you know, let me just try to... Amelia, not ameliorate, but maybe make it sound not as bad. I mean, it was it a... It was a, clearly a design decision that someone made. And Townsend now thinks that they would not have recommended that decision. But maybe others would say, well, yeah, you could do it if, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it, would you think, and I know you're not an HVAC person either, but was the installation as it currently exists, was that a cheaper alternative to, to this other outside piping? 
That I don't know. You don't know. So Again, that goes back to the original design of the building. When the, the, uh, the, the original contractor said we need 1.2 million to do the building as specified by the architect and the planners. And the town said, well, we don't have 1.2 million, we only need 750. Is that, so, was that the difference? Yeah. 1.2 million to 750,000? Yeah. So That's a do, lot do, of cutting. Right, so do what you can. That's a lot of cutting. With the 750, so, I mean, you know, insulation was cut. I mean, there were a number of areas and oh, almost, I, I, almost I, in every aspect that yeah. was cut, you know, including, you know, Originally, the other side was going to have, you know, uh, a brick facade, a new brick facade, and whatnot. So, side of fine balance. But each time they they come here, you know, we're spending two hundred to three hundred dollars anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, uh, I guess I, I personally I'd rather give them the a thousand dollars up ahead and say, come here, take care. All five HVAC systems at some point during the year before the season starts, mm -hmm. and then before the heating season starts, you can take care of the yeah. I mean, it's also it's true that we're not otherwise maintaining any of these right. things other than, you know, if somebody, would, certainly in the, the, right. the, the, the air conditioning equipment, the burner, we've been smart enough to say it has to be looked at once a year. I think we've been smart enough we've to say that. that. But, you know, the air conditioner, you know, it's like. It's got to be done. Yeah. I mean, that's a slipper, We probably will. We may be able to stop all the litigation, but we have to see how mm -hmm. things transpire. Right, but it takes longer, longer, longer. Right. So, it, it, is, does the board want to talk about this? Is the board does the board think this is just an inevitable and we should we should just do this? Mm -hmm. What are we expending? So we I don't know. Kind of kind of I mean, I can tell you about the first quarter, but yeah, yeah. yeah. we spend a lot of money uh, besides the well, we don't have the encumbrance from last year. Yeah, but that's not that's that's different. You don't you don't have to count that the money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't have yeah, to. You don't, right. So that's not in the report. But I'm about to look up if I can find it. We had a twelve thousand appropriate. Which includes about two thousand to repair the front hall. Yes, which we may choose not to. So as of the end of first quarter, we get to buildings, 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 maintenance, town hall. We expended, uh, we expended four thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars because we have a sprinkler repair and the circulating pumps. Yeah. And I don't know when we finished paying the circulating pumps. Yeah. So we'll have to figure out. What that is, but nonetheless, I uh, I think we still have that one thousand in that line. But we're, we're not going to be able to to yield any. We're not going to be able to grab any money in that line for for the uh, heard about our tail quo well, out there. Well, I've heard the uh, the submission in the deep line. Yeah, it's just the the options. Um, from the least expensive to the most are, I'd say they're an order of magnitude different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 2,000 to 30,000, I would say that's it's a bit different. <laughs> so that's what the board is wrestling with. I'm going to go data diving tomorrow to, s to see what's there and to see what I can recommend to or suggest to the board. A lot more details. Yeah, yeah. So, so, at, at some point, they say, you know, it's funny, you're a white elephant. What, else? Uh, what are you going to do though? <laughs> what, where do you go? I mean, it doesn't happen overnight, right? Yeah. It doesn't happen overnight, so. <laughs> do we sometimes feel, at least this 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 person part of the week, that we've been saddled with something that we'd rather not be saddled with? Yeah, I'd say, yeah. 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 But that's, you know, we're grown up, so we have to deal with that. So, we deal with that. Uh, so board, what do you, I mean, what's your thought? All right, then I will entertain a motion. So it's both the purchase order and the, uh, I guess, a the contract. Contract. Yeah, service contract. Which was separate. Um, sorry, a service contract. Um, a thousand energy um, for um, yearly maintenance on our HVAC and specifically for the boiler. It does. Thanks, Thank you. Um, for the boiler. Um, 
for a total of line number two would be a total of nine hundred and forty nine dollars and seventy cents. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm going to sign both the contract and the purchase order that's associated with it. I don't think you need this. I don't think you need a second motion. The purchase uh, order. Yeah, I, I, she didn't specifically say the I purchase order number. Purchase order number, purchase order number is one two one eight. But they're equivalent. So. I think they're equivalent. No, we appreciate it. Is that why they were here on the Thursday, would you say? They were here on the Tuesday and Wednesday, and the Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Um, was here. That's my next topic. Oh, no topic. But okay. you've already, you've already, taken, you've already uh, authorized this. They, they came in to replace the two uh, uh, units in the uh, mechanical room. Oh, the circulating funds? The month? circulating funds. Um, so the time. Because Wednesday, the remaining circulating bump, all of a sudden I heard this whoosh. Coming from the other room, I looked in there. Uh, what do you mean remaining circuit? I thought we replaced well, both of them. Well, we did, but they shut one off originally. And because there were two down there, the one ones used as backup. And we had the leak at the beginning of the year. They shut that one off, and they started using the second one, which was shut off three years ago because that was leaking. Without the mix, let go on Wednesday. So it was spewing water out of the side. So they came right away and they spent Thursday and Friday here. They, now we have two new circuits. I thought we had authorized two new circuits. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right. They just hadn't. They just hadn't come in and they, they wanted to wait until the heating season was done. Oh, I see. And I said, okay, no problem. No. Let's get it anytime during the summer to convenience. And then uh, you know, I just happened to hit it. Oh, open the door. Well, maybe they can open it sooner than their convenience. Okay. All right. So that was just that was just a timing issue. But just financially, all, all we have it, we have it covered. It was just a bad week for water downstairs. All, right. <laughs> all the way around. So. It's just yeah, this is not a good water week. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not, not a good water week at all. All right. Uh, uh, that's all I have for you, folks. Anything for me? Yes. A question. Yes. So. So, at right this very moment, just from a discussion, for discussion purposes and for kind of like a, an intent, the board seems to want to do the right thing by the foundation, which is like $31,000 option. So, I need to find out if our budget can possibly support that and how and what, what we have to do. We were reminded about something that you might have said that you know, yes, I can do this because I'm not going to use the patrol officer's salary line. It could be, uh, we're talking about De Pasquale's mm -hmm. patrol, yeah. uh, patrol line. Yeah, what were I mean, you there, There'll be some money in there. But, but um, didn't you have a thought about using it for something? See, we want to, we want to know and evaluate what it is you're going to use it for. Right, well, <laughs> we've, got, we've got the, uh, well, we've got uh, you know, several additional grants coming up, and I'm not sure. Because originally I thought that you were going to put more money in the reimbursement line item. And I think you put 4000 in there or something like that. Well, 20000 for FEMA and 4000 okay. for the general. Well, then we could probably, if, you know, if the FEMA line item is also for Homeland Security, then we could probably take the, the reimbursement grant money out of that line item. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but we still have the, uh, the grant uh, for the um, J1 project, which is the License and registration scanners and printers, but we're getting reimbursed 100% uh, from the government for that. That's, that's about four thousand dollars. We have the um, grant for we have the grant for the communication at the cell tower. Uh, well, the the, uh, the, the re repeater, right? That's that's still in works. We get we get fifty thousand dollars from the warrant article for the radios, but no, the other grant is for the um, I'll update the emergency operations plan. And that's uh, and that's the FEMA that, reimbursement. Right, that's FEMA reimbursement. So that, that's it's total eight thousand and, and uh, they, they send us back. No, that's that's a total reimbursement, I'm sorry. So that's four thousand the total reimbursement. Our share, our portion is the in kind match. But not 
So I think that's it. So we're talking maybe four, possibly no more than 10,000 between those. But they could so, come from the FEMA. But they could come from FEMA, yes. Okay, so Which these are, and, okay, so they're, it's yeah. about, I'm sorry, what did you say, about 10? About 10,000. Okay. Okay, so we do have that. I'll look it over again, but we've got the revenue, you know, in case we, we think we're going to have a reimbursement on the FEMA-related stuff. So, all right, I'll look that over. Was it plus, plus one, you'll have uh, 13,800 13, coming back from Pike. But he gets I don't know what that means. We sent them a bill for details of thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars. So you get that money coming back into your general fund. Yeah, but that doesn't help us. I mean, well, some of some of it does because some of it is you're getting the profit. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not paying out as much as we're billing them. Okay, if we're not so. paying out, then that's fine. But I mean, the we all we like. It's not that it doesn't make a difference. We'd like to uh, enrich our coffers, but from us. A spending point of view, you can still only spend what's in our authorization. No matter, you know, somebody could give us a million, walk in and give us a million dollars tomorrow. Can't spend it. It's just one of those, spend it next year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't spend it right this very moment. So, so all right, so, 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 let me ask again is the, is the uh, patrol officer, our new patrol officer's line? completely spent out or accounted for? Is there any part of that that is available to be just asking? Let me uh, go on the figures tomorrow okay. to see what we're going to pay them starting August at the yep. end of the year. What I anticipate possibly from those two grants, and I'll shoot you an email before the end of the day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. There's a refrigerator on the side street. Oh, yeah. That's uh, right. Where those doors don't attach. Uh, I think it's a far out. Yeah, I think there's a second house coming up. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. After the It's in the right of way. So. In the right of way. I know. Aren't they pesky things? <laughs> we, can, we can pay a visit tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, it's not as steady. It's what. I mean, it's the. What if a kid gets trapped in this? I mean, that's the. More what I'm worried about. I'm curious. What does someone think about that they can. That they think it'll just it'll just disappear one day. I mean, I don't know. I just don't understand that. Very well. uh, we did get a literary or an illegal dump. Uh, I guess a dumping complaint on Sporting Club that they were using the little stairway there as a place where they dump all the trash and they've been there for months and months. Say that and again. We got a complaint. Yeah. That the folks who were uh, living. Who are living there? Living at Sports and Club. Oh, we're done. Just, just leaving their trash. Or in, the, in the prior tenants, before they all left, gotcha. had left a bunch of trash behind the building. Okay. So it was collecting all kinds of nuisance animals and they needed to smell really bad. Yeah, yeah. So I contacted Ms. Siebert, and she actually went that very day and cleaned it all. Oh, good. Okay. But I, I do know I originally sent a, uh, a text to Carolyn to ask her to pass it on to the uh, Post Office as well. Yeah. So. But I did check the next day and I was clean. Okay, great. So Thank she, you. She Thanks for doing that. Make sure that her tenants. Uh, Does she have people with them right now? Mm -hmm. One person. And I think this one person has a child. Mm -hmm. so. okay. Well, you, to, to, to take the trash to the landfill, yeah, they have to have a permit. But if you're on a permit, then you need to do the trash. You're sort of on a permit. I thought they would have a dumpster. Well, there no, are, there are there issues, though. We told her last year, was it? The year before last, that she's going to be renting people out for the life safety issue we want to present that person. I don't believe she ever did. So, she never came in and talked to us, remember? That's okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We've been dealing with a lot of things like in there. But I mean, so. I mean, but to get to, get to, to Jody, I mean, there, there has been, you know, front office staff. And, and they're not staff ones, they're an official staff. Tell us that, well, if you've got at least four units, you need a dumpster. But we, there's no, it's not, it's not in the transfer station. Or it's, the, uh, it, that's where it would be, but we don't currently have that. So there's no, we don't have, yeah, no, that's why we need to work on that. That's where it is, but we haven't, we haven't passed it, so we need to, Add to the list, right? Add to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
anything else? So where were we? We were down in town administration. We managed to get there. Yes, I can drive table. No, no, I don't want to take a lot. Okay. So I because I want to say that I sent you, Michael, the the workbook. And so so I'm available to... Yes, I'd like to just yeah. review it with you. Yes, absolutely. I think that's, that's a great idea. So I'll wait to hear from you. It's not going to be this week. You know, I hear you've got a busy schedule. Every single night this week. Okay, just let, let me know. I mean, I'd like to do it ASAP, so maybe sometime next week. And um, I just like to think about this last week when we talked about this. The planning board, rep. I need to ask the, the chair of the planning board to send out a notice to all the mem current members. Can't just assume that Kevin yeah. can still be there. Yeah, so I, I won't make that list public until I hear from you when we have a plan for that. Okay? Yeah. All right, that's it. Uh, did you table legal priority? Yes, we did. Uh, New Hampshire DOT. So we, we got word last week, it was I think in the correspondence, that uh, we had been accepted, the old building bridge had been accepted mm -hmm. into the state's bridge, bridge program. We were waiting for a, a, you know, them to do a, a project cost, which they just provided to us. I think part of that paperwork that we got for them, though, requires us to do something, either write something, you know, accept something or authorize something. So I don't, I, I haven't read it carefully. So I want to put this on, keep this there so that we know we have this to do. When we're tab we are tabling it tonight. Okay. Eversource. Did you um, see that email I pushed out to you? Eversource is asking us, uh, I, I guess there are people that they consider aggressive marketers. Uh -huh. And they have um, put this little video together. I did not read it myself, and they're asking us if we want to. I didn't see the website. Shall so we table it? Shall we look at the video? Okay, we'll table it. Okay. Yeah, I know, it's true. This is a particular video thing. But I, I didn't look at it myself. So we'll table it for one more week, and if, if next week we get the same response, and that'll say what our level of interest is. How does that yeah. sound? Uh, copying and scanning, that's just there. We're going to talk about it in another quarter, and you know, we, or we may just say, you know what? This is probably going to be a 2018. Do you want me to just no, keep make it that? on there okay. so don't forget, but okay. maybe put it at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Lavoy subdivision, I believe we took care of this. We said that we would yeah. uh, agree to have legal help us map out a process. Central stores, that's there to deal with the supplies. I just changed the name of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking a store down Yeah, there. no, since it's, what, yeah, it's what, yeah, like yeah, it's what okay. big kids call it sometimes. So. Okay. But I've, there's nothing to add unless, uh, but that, again, that's just your, there for placeholders to uh, New Hope Housing, Caroline is supposed to be drafting a letter. She's not had an opportunity yet. Hydro sale of lease, uh, we do have a, uh, something in our folder that we got from email. We had checked with our council who said um, they think it's fine for us to agree to email. Uh, I don't know what the appropriate term is, but changing the licensing and operation of our hydro station from them to Green Mountain Power. Now, we have an outstanding question relative to um, relicensure. Um, you know, yes, I believe. To cover the cost. I, don't, I didn't see an email. I thought Kevin response. Baum wrote back he probably and said, didn't I, seen it, so. I believe he said everything was going to stay the same point. I saw an email from Kevin saying he had reached out to them I haven't heard back. It's very possible that he, he got to follow up and I didn't see it. So. Oh, I asked Caroline that maybe we should hold off then because now you're making me well, I want to make sure that. I, mean, I doubt that I would have received it myself and not forwarded yeah, it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. I so we just, I maybe so I. See it right here. Let's see. It, it would be his most recent thing, right? 419. It's yeah. awful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I know. Some of my look at like keep it on the website. 
Friday, I had an email saying I still haven't heard back from Ian now, so apparently they are not in too much of a rush. That was this. That was the preparation of this, because right. this had to come from Ian now. Right. I'll see if it is. Uh... See, I just see, so please sign the attached copy tonight. Or you'll look, this is from Kevin. Now, but I did ask him. I asked him. No, Wednesday, that. Kevin responded, June 14th. June 14th. I also asked, I've updated the letter to the town to have a blah, blah, blah. I'm a three year less to sign the signature. Yes. I also asked their council to confirm that GMP, the amount of power, will continue the relicensing. I will be in touch when I hear back from her. Is there someone available at Town Hall that I can confirm receipt of the FedEx? That was on the 14th. Let's see if you're just going That could be the last. Time. Then maybe we don't have a definitive answer. Oh. Okay. I've, I've confirmed with Caroline that she has not received the FedEx or DNL. She must have not because there it is. I've accepted the change, which were only to the signatories. Blah, blah, blah. Please sign the attached copy. I will hold on. Hold on. I will hold it until we receive confirmation from DNL about relicensing. Yeah. All right, then we have a third. It does, it, we're probably, uh, the, the lease agreement says, section 15, that at any time they may, with the written approval of Rawlsford, place the written approval, which shall not be, shall not unreasonably be withheld. So in other words, you know, we sort of have to go on to the reasonable reason. self made transfer of sign or so But still, we should know about the oh, reason. Yeah, they could be a reneging on uh, paying for the license or something. All right, so let's let's hold off on this. I agree with that. Until we then able to find out. <laughs> we think we've had a I, Yeah, I thought he had now. said it. I guess I mean, he hadn't. So yeah. Okay. So let's do it. Um, rec committee, anything to? Yes. We uh, started on Monday. Yeah. That's exciting. We are going to be trading this week. We have a few hires. Can I ask how the uh, uh, first day CPI? Um, I believe they're working it out with the school. So uh, the director and assistant director were working on that. Okay. And they were going to be organizing the staff for training, and they were going to do it for training at the library. Um, and during the week, um, Ian is going to be opening them up. Drop link on them and then closing up shop, um, and they're going to be piggybacking with the school. Um, so that's going to save us a little bit of money that we found out we would have to pay. Um, and they're going to be working on that. Um, we do have three hires, so right. they can get trained. Right. Yep. So, all right. Um, Alexander Lagle, L A G L E, um, for $7.50 an hour. Brighton early for seven dollars and seventy-five cents an hour, and Luke Anderson for eight dollars an hour. So it looks like these are all counselors. Yes, this is uh, these are junior counselors, and this is a team older counselor. Okay. So, so, so I don't. I think we, did think we did and Anderson, but was it Luke? Yeah. Well, good point. We hire him just in case. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. I thought we made him to Lewis Earl. I know we didn't. Um, Brighton, we didn't make it. Correct. And Alexander wasn't. Um, we did do an Anderson last week, but I don't. I don't know. Not hard to go to Anderson. Correct. I don't want them to miss the appointment as such. So, um, so, so just a motion to motion to accept to hire. I guess. To hire um, Luke Brighton and Alexander for set amounts. Um, 
dark date, uh, 619, 2017. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 And so I'm going to sign as, where do I sign? Oh, right here. I signed the letter up here, right? Yeah. And accept it. And then they're going to sign this. They're going to sign it. Okay. Um, record meeting at the library tomorrow, um, Tuesday, um, last minute stuff, and I won't be there. I was going to be at practice, but I might be here with you. So, mm, yep, yep, or doodle. Can you brighten me with some, with some, some. Brighton was 775, okay. Alexander was 750. So, are you fully staffed? <laughs> Um, at the moment, unless more campers, a lot more campers came in this week, we should be all set. Okay. And so, the enrollment is current? I haven't heard new numbers as of this week. Okay. What were the so last numbers? 64. Oh, we're up to 70. Okay, see, so yeah, I haven't heard. Okay. So I'm not that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. has not come out. Your daughter's okay. going? No, no, no. She's not old enough. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I did check that out with someone. Okay. Well, great. Anything else about recommending? The t-shirts came in too, and they're lovely. Yeah, that's awesome. I understand. Great. Um, the shed. Oh, we were going to fix the shed. Oh, yeah. So, so, so say I think you're going to have to fix that hole for right now. So, I just sent an email to the rec that what's the left in the shed. How much is that going to cost? We're going to have to refix the roof and redo the door. Mm -hmm. So, well, all right. Let's, yep. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's Thanks. So they can store it inside the building. Whatever they were storing in the shed can be inside the building. So we could put it, we could make it part of the next year's rec committee budget. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then find a new home in I don't know. Yeah. But so, Jody, do you want us to keep rec committees as sort of a standard town administration item for a while? or do you, uh, For a couple more weeks, yeah. Okay. They're just starting. Just in case things. Yeah. When there's nothing new, we can just take it. Okay. Sounds good. So the, some of the building materials, they need new shingles? They need new shingles, and they even need wood for, um, that's a amount of shingles. That we saved. Some, but we have I purposely those. saved those. But there aren't enough, but there's not enough. There Somebody else was looking short. for them. Yes. Do you know who else? Um, who else? Richard wanted them for above the police, um, which is not enough there either. Because it's about the same size. Gotcha. <laughs> so they need six, uh, six bundles of shingles, and would to redo the door. Um, so it's not a lot, but after tonight, I, yeah. not the big until, we, until we figure out what where right. things are. I don't know. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, historical committee. So table and on lapse account? Yes. Uh, we got an email at the top of the steeple. So we got an email from Vern who took yep. it upon himself to have somebody look at the steeple. Yeah. At the top. So my recommendation is just to forward that to the historical I table. was what I wrote down right here. Perfect. And I would know, I mean, I have other board member activities to report on, but I guess I can go here too. Sure, why um, you? The committee was interested in assisting. Perfect. Okay. All right, that sounds good. I was going to reach out to a number of people as well. Okay. All right, uh, policies and procedures, welfare, I don't have anything new to report, so, Anything else before we go into our standing items? All right, so what are y'all up to this week? Other than... I just told you that. Okay, and Michael? I'm going to work all week, which is unusual for me. I've got work meetings every night. Yeah, and gets in the way sometimes. Except tomorrow night, which I guess yeah. uh, maybe coming back here. But last week, the historical, historic committee met. We discussed the end cap. Uh, was interested in, in assisting, like I said, uh, in reaching out to um, some Tim Smiths that may be able to assist. Um, and the police space needs committee met also. Yes, uh, we what's, what's happening here? Uh, we don't have a magic solution board yet tonight, but uh, we're going to go on a tour next month of the Farmington Police Department. Um, Is this the concrete? Yes, the CFE. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Um, one, uh, one of the local companies that had uh, approached the chief when they saw the article of our needs downstairs. Um, well, designed and built back on itself. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're going to go over and take a look at that. There's also, we also received um, 
some more information from a company in um, relative to uh, the um, I can't think of what it's right. modular modular uh, modular um, design build that isn't as sturdy. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, I mean, we're going to learn more about yeah. it, and it's just a little bit less money. So, so Mike, what uh, have you sort of settled on what you're going to recommend for the space itself? No. Okay. There's, um, so there's three tracks right now. Um, I think we have settled on on one of two sites. Um, we have. Um, Said that the, the turk off field really isn't an option. Um, now, but maybe there's four tracks actually. There's some desire still to see if there's um, any desire on the Wetmore family that owns the field on the, mm -hmm. the base by yeah. the entrance of um, yeah. Greenfield, see if they would like to do a land swap. Yeah. Um, that would get us closer. We would have course. a road development as part of the expense. Mm -hmm. We would still have. There would still be some road development costs, but not into the extent of going all the oh, way no. back or not even close. Um, you know, there's still site, yeah, site development, development costs, right. but not insurmountable. Um, across the street from there is that uh, mm -hmm. 3.85 acre mm -hmm. lot that's for sale still. Mm -hmm. um, the um, advantage there is that it gives us. Uh, the grow if we wanted to, mm -hmm. either as a municipal complex, including the services that are included in this building, or um, in fires. You know, I mean, if that's what people mm -hmm. want to, in the long run want to do, is room to expand there. Um, and then there's the Silver Street. Where we have, where there are site costs there, obviously, having to buy the site, and then improvements. Um, and then there's the Silver Street location that we currently own where the highway shed is also site improvement issues there. Um, but there isn't room for expansion. If we were going to go there, you could build um, police and municipal there. We just have to build up and we would move to the all at the same time. Some of the discussion also that evening was whether or not there's an appetite to do, to do more than what what really the committee is supposed to be looking at is dealing with the police needs, not the overall all needs of the entire town, uh, government really. Um, it's called scope creep. Exactly. No, for sure, for sure. And but sometimes it's unavoidable, right? Yeah. I mean, especially if we have more and more conversations like yeah. tonight. I mean, it begs the question: Why would we not want to just talk about it and mm -hmm. see what the additional cost would be? Um, we are very cognizant of the fact, though, that. Um, It probably isn't a huge appetite to do it or not. I mean, I think we saw that with the, um, with the school uh, that came up. And when they were trying, they presented several options as to what they would want to do with the redevelopment of the school. Um, it does not depend on the end. Um, according to those plans, they went in a different yes. direction, but I think the other things, but, um, we're also cognizant of that. I mean, that there hasn't in the past been a large appetite to do huge projects like that. And also, given the fact that we just have to take out bonds to work on drainage, culverts, transfer stations, mm -hmm. we're living in that reality as well. So, mm -hmm. so we have already missed, obviously, our self-imposed deadline of having an answer to you all in a month. That wasn't realistic anyways, but the chief and I joke about it every time we talk. Um, it seemed like a good idea. It did, yeah, because you want to stay on top of these things, but this just and we want to tour these facilities. We want to see exactly what. I mean, I, I guess the, the, what I, I might uh, recommend is at, at the stage of the game is mm -hmm. if there's anything that we could have ready for the March town meeting. Yeah. And I, I guess what I'm thinking of is at least a site. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, because, I mean, if it's Silver Street, then I guess we're not buying anything. We have it. Right. But if it's something else, then at least we could think about those pockets of money that we have available in the hydro fund and the current use land and ask for the authorization to yeah. use that to 
and I, I know for the, uh, the person who owns the, the corner lot there that's for sale, I mean, she what what I, I think she would be amenable to having a, a purchase and sales agreement that would be contingent upon town meeting, town meeting and for one, right. and for two, I think she would be willing to consider a lesser price because that's what happened. Right. And we're, we're aware of that. We're so I'm just saying. So, but there also, there were concerns with that site um, because it used to be a gas station. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know what the tanks were ever actually taken out. I think they're still there, buried, which is a real possibility. The realtor might know. Yeah, I so mean, we need to. The, the, the but owner might have divulged. Yeah. Well, <coughs> so if that's the ultimately the direction that we want to recommend to the select board, I'll let you know. Okay. Hopefully we'll have a recommendation within the next, I'll talk about it in Jan July because we're going on our tour. So. Okay. But, All right. Any questions, uh, Jody? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And we had, um, we had a number of guests um, at the last meeting, so good. it's a public comment. That's so it's good. Yeah. Helpful. It's, it's good to get engaged so it's not yeah that's wonderful all right i have a stormwater committee meeting tomorrow and i, I think as i'm sitting here now that i forgot to post it so if here's your notice public there's a stormwater management committee meeting here tomorrow 6 30. so sorry about that um i don't have anything else as far as our activities or updates you've already commented that all right, building permits. I don't have a folder, so. Oh, well, Tom was not here today. Then he wouldn't have been able to approve any of those. Okay. So yeah. All right. Or make a recommendation. Yeah. Right. Review of correspondence. Then. All right. Yeah, purchase orders. Okay. Yes, he was not feeling well. Not here. Got 30 days to act on that. So, um, okay. Emergency repair, catch basin on Front Street at Lower Mill entrance, rebuilt after partial collapse due to age and heavy rain. Um, purchase order 1234. I'm kidding. <coughs> uh, has to exist at some point. I know, right? Um, Shown? Shown? Shown. Uh, roadway services um, for a total of $1,100. Are you moving yet? Coming. I say that, I'm yeah, sorry. It's okay. Yes, Second. All right. Any discussion? You would come out of roadway surfacing. You would leave me on the about $7,000 in that budget. Yeah. So I have a, so I just wanted to make a comment on this. I mean, this happened earlier. And we did, he did tell us, I mean, I remember yeah. this, right? He did no, tell us about this. About and it was an emergency. So that's, you know, you can't, um, he has to do it. So, but I guess he, subsequent to that, didn't do a purchase order. So. In, I guess we've just been re-invoiced, so that's what this is. Um, uh, so, your comment about road resurfacing is germane, yeah. 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 We, there isn't much there after we yeah. do the... Yeah. Yeah. Although we don't have a final bill either from Pike, so, you know, there was a little bit left last year, so uh, that's no guarantee though, because asphalt was going up so mm -hmm. we'll have to see. Still have, uh, yeah. So right now there's money in there. So did you second this? Yeah yes. you did. Yeah. So any other questions or comments? All right then I'll, I'll call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Say aye. 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 So these are for um, fuel and oil purpose. Uh, purchase order 
for a total of $150.12. Um, service record shows that the F550 has 20,000 miles on it. Just an FYI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 So I guess we had two bent posts that needed replacement but somewhere around town. <laughs> this says two, 12 feet, three, two, oh, two and a half stops. I think, yeah, those, Eight yeah. posts. Yeah. All right, well, did you second this? Sure. Okay, so uh, I guess we're ready to vote on whether we want to accept this purchase order to replace two bent posts around town. All those in favor say aye. Yes. Uh, aye. I think we already replaced them. I'm sure. All right. Comcast would like to remind us that on July, on or about July 13th, the Olympics channel will be available on 8:46. Is there Olympics this year? Right, is there? I don't think so, is it? On or around July, ready for, uh, July 13, 2017, the Olympics Channel HD will be available on 846. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. So noted. Maybe so, so noted unless anybody has a comment. Like football. Like the football show. You can watch the, yeah, yeah, all kinds of the classic games. Over and over again. Um, so you have an occupancy. Shouldn't this be near five? Okay. Yes, right. Yes, okay. but there it is. It's in yours. Great. Um, we took that certificate of occupancy for a single family home in Tinburg, um, 35 Wentworth Street, um, inspected by Tom Clark on June 16th. Effective date of June 20th. I think there was a motion. Second. Any Second. discussion? All those in favor say aye. We do. We get $50, yes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Hopefully, what? Hopefully, gets assessed. Bottom of the third, no score. Shh. Oh, thank you. Okay. They're shaking. <laughs> Fast forward the first three innings. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the update. Appreciate it. Which makes the certificate of occupancy for a single family home in Tumor Development located at 41 Western Street. Town Park inspected in June 16th, effective day June 20th, $50. Second, correct. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Over our cost, 
on road diesel at 18 cents over cost. Um, service pricing is $99 per hour plus any part change. Does anybody know how this compares to last year's? Do you remember? No. We get that from the school district. We run with their bid again. Um, well, they didn't bid, remember? They, yeah. Because they decided to go an extra year sure, and gave them a. Um, don't, don't. I, Shouldn't all these check. All feel under this contract will be delivered between July 1st and April 3rd. Would you have time to check with Caroline about how this compares and what the relationship is with the school department? I mean, you know, in, in essence, are we piggybacking on what the school has done, or is this is that no longer what we're doing? Or okay, thank you. Yes, you do. And everything else is old. Okay. Roads. Yep. Okay. So let's see. We have no non-public way to go into tonight, right? Okay. So is there any community input? Wasn't this a fun meeting? Aren't you glad you came? Oh yeah. Thank you. I said yes. <laughs> All right. Um, by consensus, we are done. Yep. All right. Good night, everybody.